clowns didn't prop up a lying, law-breaking prime minister and then allow him to put his cronies in the House of Lords. Clowns didn't do it. The Conservatives did. So, let me take this opportunity to apologise unreservedly to that party member and to the whole clowning community. <laughs> I'm sorry I used the wrong C word. Remember, at the start of the year, Sunak gave a big speech where he told the country, we're either delivering for you or we're not. <laughs> well, in fairness to Rishi, he was telling the truth. <laughs> His government is failing to deliver. And what's so horrific is the sheer scale of their failure in so many ways. Our country today just isn't working the way it should. It's not working as it should for the parents, forced to travel two hours just to find their kids an NHS dentist, or skipping meals so their children can eat. Conference, I have never known our country so badly governed. Fair. An economic plan that gives everyone the chance to get on in life and see their hard work and aspiration properly rewarded. A plan that backs entrepreneurs to grow their small businesses and create worthwhile, well-paid jobs in their communities. And yes, a plan to tackle the climate crisis, reach net zero, embrace the clean technologies of the future. <laughs> and there's another crucial part of our economic vision, another area where well, we are so different from this government. Something that would so obviously make an enormous difference to our economy and our standard of living. Something we have always been proud to champion, even when no one else even dared whisper it. Fixing our broken relationship with Europe. <laughs> the Conservatives botched the deal with Europe and it's been a disaster for the UK. They sold out British farmers and fishers, they tied up British business in red tape, and they pushed up food prices in our supermarkets. So much unnecessary pain inflicted on so many by so few. I know there are MPs in every party who have lost loved ones to cancer, like I did, or indeed who've battled cancer themselves. So I fervently hope we can build a consensus across politics to make cancer a top priority in the next parliament. But as leader of our party, I can at least promise you this. For Liberal Democrat MPs, it will be a top priority. And that's why today I'm announcing our new and ambitious plan to end unacceptable cancer delays and boost survival rates. We have taken chunks out of the blue wall. We have made it start to crumble. Now let's smash it for good. The British people are desperate for hope. The British people are desperate for change. The British people are desperate for a fair deal. And we are the ones who can make it happen. So let's get to it. <laughs>